Grapevine Colleyville ISD sent a, a letter to parents explaining how a teenager who was not a student was able to get inside the school last week. Yeah, police say the teen who got into Grapevine High School was the same one who posed for a picture with a loaded gun on campus. The district tells us someone propped open one of the doors to the cafeteria, letting him inside. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins is in Grapevine tonight with the update. Macy. Well, Heather and Steve, yeah, that 17-year-old pictured in that Snapchat photo got into the school, according to the district, through a cafeteria door, which is just behind this large building you see in the front of the school. Of course, no one was injured, but the district is reminding everyone on campus, students and staff, to be aware of every door that's around you. Tavian Price and Christopher Bishop, two 17-year-olds who are among four teens arrested Friday after police say Price had a loaded handgun in the Grapevine High School cafeteria. Police say a student alerted administrators after seeing this picture of Price, who is not a student, on social media. Nearly 2,000 students and staff were on lockdown during the investigation. No shots were fired and no one was injured. The district says Bishop and two unnamed juveniles are students. It was scary, obviously. It was scary. Grapevine Colleyville ISD says it discovered that Price entered the school through a cafeteria door left propped open by an outdoor rug by students during the lunch hour. And we are currently investigating as to why that did not, um, why that didn't alert our security sensors on the doors to let staff know, know that a door was propped open. District spokesperson Kristen Snively says the students who propped the door open were not connected to Price or the other teens. She says security footage shows Price attempting to enter the campus through another set of doors before entering through the cafeteria. Paul Chelgren's stepson is a sophomore. You know, I think they have to be a little stricter on managing the door. You know, they just have to be more diligent. I know the, the police were here very quickly. That was good, but. The key is to be more diligent at the door. Police and the district say no direct threat was made, but Price faces five charges, including criminal trespass, terroristic threat, and theft of a firearm, which is a felony. Bishop faces two charges of terroristic threat and possession of a controlled substance. What was the kid doing? He didn't seem to really be looking for trouble. He just wanted to, I mean, he didn't threaten anybody. Just wanted to put on a show. While this was a serious security breach, GCISD says it needs more time and information before considering any security changes. I think at the moment it would be premature to say that we're going to change any policies as a result of Friday. I can say that we are continuing to review our policies and procedures we have in place as we do after any incident that takes place across the district. Now, according to the school district spokesperson, the security cameras were added as part of the 2016 bond package. Those door sensors were added in 2011 as part of a bond package. The district tells me that at this point, they've already revun, re, re, begun excuse me, the after action review process. And that is a discussion between students and staff and administrators about what went wrong and what they can do better in the future and what went right when these accidents in these incidents happen on campus.